Shalom, shalom, my friends. Hope everyone's having a super amazing day. It's beautiful, beautiful day. Yesterday, I recorded a message, a quick message about how Papa God wants us to get out of our caterpillar cocoon stage and into our, our butterfly stage, which is our best season, basically, right? And um, I had a comment with um with one friend of mine and i'm dedicating this um video to her and to everyone else who needs it obviously she asked me what well, she says to me why can't you do a part two and explain how exactly can you get out of the cocoon because she says i feel that i'm stuck in the cocoon right and i was like hmm yeah you're right i mean it's it's sometimes much easier said than done right um, but actually that's not the case it's very hard to do and I guess you know she and many um, just like maybe I would have want to know okay well tell me exactly how you did it right and like I said yesterday in the message you know like every single butterfly and we are all so different we are all unique so we we will all go through a different path and different stages and and how we get to different you know we took different results <coughs> excuse me but at the end um it's a it's the same goal right the goal of, of finding inner peace finding in inner joy finding true love for the for for the very first time because we think that you know joy is happiness which was which is what the world gives and it's not true we think we think a peace is maybe going to a spa one day and oh, I feel so peaceful. I'm going on vacation. I feel so peaceful. But what happens when you know the spa session finishes? What happens when your vacation finishes? It goes back to to chaos, right? Um, we think that love is you know being loved from a man, being loved from by a woman, you know, being loved by our children. You know and it's not it either <laughs> you know and and that's the thing you know that's why people get stuck in a cocoon because their mentality their way of thinking hasn't changed yet so I spent all night well not all night but you know I wake up and I would think about this you know what am I going to to say to to my friend that, that asked me this very very special important question because it's very important and holy spirit gave it to me so quickly this morning and i was like thank you holy spirit obviously i won't dare come out here without his guidance because everything i say and everything i do it's through him and that's where i'm going you see many of you don't know i used to be for example um not for example i was addicted to alcohol for 23 years super 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 you know bad hardcore alcoholic um for example not for example for real i had breast cancer two years ago and i went through seven surgeries um i was addicted to to finding true love you know addicted to men you know meaning dating and dating and dating dating basically a serial dating person because i was trying to find true love um and i didn't i never found it so the majority of people are in that stage you know and you you probably think well that's just life no no it's life in this world and we don't belong in this world the children of papa god um we don't belong in this world we actually are aliens and so we have to learn how to maneuver all these lies of addictions of um depressions and all that stuff and it all starts where in our mind so i could just speak for myself the tools that holy spirit gave me that papa gave me to overcome all these battles you know that starts in your mind right because when you're in the cocoon stage when you're in the caterpillar stage that's when you're battling spiritually in the mind trying to get out of there and there's many the majority of people never get out of there and just live a routine life of well this is life and live life miserable basically live life not content 
live life you know in the happy stage which is the temporary happiness what the world gives i'm happy when i get paid on friday i'm happy when i buy you know this gucci purse i'm happy when i go on vacation i'm happy when i'm loved i'm happy when i get attention no that's all temporary trust me i lived it a hundred million times until here i go number one point i said enough I got desperate enough to want desperately, desperately change in my life to the point that being an alcoholic, I said, I, I need change. And obviously, any alcoholic or any addictive you know, person to any situation might want to say, well, I want change. What's the difference? The change, the difference was that I made the intentional decision to change. And here's the second point. I did the work I did the work and I continue to do the work every single day and let me tell you it is extremely hard extremely hard and the consistency and the consistency of continuing to do it every single day because someone could do the work one day one week one month maybe a whole year hey there's people that I've known even in the AA meetings for example this is an example that that did the work for 20 years and went and relapsed and had an overdose and died because they quit at 20 years. So it's a constantly battle of working, not working in the spirit because Holy Spirit is the one that gives us the power to do the work. But when I say work is means, meaning to wake up every single day and surrendering to the only power, the only one that could actually change us, which is Papa God, Jesus. Holy Spirit every single day people don't know what I do behind behind doors I come here and put out my beautiful videos and 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 put out my beautiful pictures and like oh yeah she's lucky I don't believe in luck there's no such thing as luck there's blessings blessings of blessings but you get those blessings when you start harvesting what you reap <laughs> so what are you sowing you know what, what what happens when when I was in when I was going through breast cancer I could have thrown the towel and said but papa god i serve you i love you i obey you and i have breast cancer now i'm losing my two breasts which i did lost my two breasts my beautiful two breasts i lost but you know what i did i still believed i hold that i i held on to jesus even tighter and said no i need you more than ever i know that if i'm going through this because you're going to turn this from all these horrible things for better because I am your daughter, because I do serve you, because I love you, I know that something else will come out, something great and better will come out. And it did. Look, I'm here out speaking to you, say I'm a breast cancer survivor, but I didn't just survive you know, scratching walls. No, I survived literally worshiping the Lord in prayer every single day. You know, in my Bible study, I would do my Bible study with my girls every single Wednesday when I was oh look at that that almost fell when i was in in my in my horrific pains i still did it i did the work when i lost my job back in may my five years job when i was working at prada making a lot of money I, I, we got laid off you know what i still did the work i mean i could continue and tell you list and list and list and list of things of how I did my work every single day until this day I continue to do it I won't dare leave my house to work right now I'm going to go see a friend of mine if I go into the supermarket anywhere before I go into my secret place and first get and know and read and, 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 and feel his presence to see what is that, where is Papa guiding me? Where is Holy Spirit guiding me to, to this day? You know, because I have to put on my, my spiritual full armor. If not, we're go I'm gonna go out there and die spiritually. Because there's a battle every single minute of the day. The enemy does not quit. We are the ones that quit. We are the ones that give up. When we're in that cocoon stage, Oh, it's so hard. I can't see. It's so this. It's so that. And I give up. Well, you don't. You won't become the butterfly. I wanted to become that butterfly so extremely bad. I wanted to live my best life so extremely. So I did the work. It's just like the the lepers when Jesus healed the the lepers and and only one came back. 
to to be grateful to him and it, then he, jesus said go out and, and testify to the world i'm that one leopard that's why i'm in my season world because many get the miracles many when are in desperate situations oh papa god oh jesus help me help me help me and they get the miracle they get the favor from god and then that's it they go back to the world they go back to their old selves or oh, they maybe are in gratitude for a week or two again and they go back to the same slave mentality the same addictions no see i was that one leper that went that went back and he said thank you thank you thank you for getting me out of the pit because jesus took me out of the pit several times with addictions with the cold dependency with men with breast cancer with 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 cigarettes with so many things he took me out and every single time i said i was more than grateful more than grateful i wanted to know him more i wanted to feel his presence i wanted to live with him i just wanted to be guided by him and the last point is surrendering I surrender every single morning. Every, sometimes every single in every single situation. Because I could surrender in the morning, then go to public, see the supermarket, and, and have this nasty cashier that treats me bad and oof, I have to surrender. Surrender my old flesh, my old will, maybe to the things that I want. Do you know how many things I want that I haven't gotten or or, or I get the opposite? But I realize that Papa God's plans for me are so much better. They're always gonna be good and perfect. So I've learned to surrender my will to his will, no matter what situations happen, no matter what or what's going on, no matter what I'm seeing in the physical realm, I know that he's working on my behalf because I have surrendered to him. And it's a daily, daily surrender, but not one day, not one week, not one year, it's every single day until we live, leave this world because we don't belong to this world again. So I hope this made some sense to you guys. I hope it brings some clarity how to get out that cocoon stage into that butterfly, beautiful, amazing season is you have to do the work. You have to surrender. You have to live in gratitude. You have to renew your mind, transform your mind and it all starts in your mind and it starts within and then it starts reflecting outward. And then that's when you can be the better version of yourself and live in joy, live in peace, live in supernatural love, patience, kindness, goodness, the nine fruits of the spirit. That's what I do every day. I put on his nine fruits every single day. I put on love, I put on joy, I put on peace, I put on patience, kindness, goodness, gentleness, faithfulness, self-control every single day, every single moment because this world is tough. The enemy will devour you in a second. Trust me, that's all he's here to do is to devour us if we slip. So we can't slip. We have to be in guard like soldiers that we are in Christ every single day. Guys, I love you so much. Shalom. And do the work. Let me tell you, it's so much worth it. It's hard. Of course it is. But it's so much worth it. Because you will start seeing, you will start reaping the harvest of everything, of all the work that you did. And remember, we can never do it alone. It's only, it's only through Holy Spirit. He's the only one. His power and His love. Shalom, friends. Bye.